Hey Hill family, welcome back to your Daily Reset. Coach Jay here. Today we're just going to go real quick over a nice shoulder stretch uh, that I like to use on a pretty consistent basis. So it's a really nice one just if your shoulders are feeling stiff or a little bit sore. It can really help in any situation. So I call it the over-under stretch. You might hear it called a few different things, maybe like cow-faced pose in yoga, but it's essentially doing two different things to our two different shoulders. Um, so you'll have to do it kind of on both sides, but it's a really, really nice one. So I'm going to turn around while I explain it just so you can kind of see what we're going. But we're going to go over a way to kind of get into it and get the most out of this stretch. So I'm going to have like a towel or a jacket handy um, just in case I need it. But some people may or may not need it. But as I get set up in this one, you can sit, you can stand for this one. doesn't really matter. Some people like to just kneel on their knees. But with... Whichever arm I'm going to go overhead with, I'm going to reach that arm up through the ceiling. And then with my other hand, I'm going to kind of grab my forearm on that side and then try to reach that arm up as high as I can. So like really punch up into the ceiling. Then I'm going to bend this elbow, try to bring my palm down to the top of my back. And the whole time while I'm doing this, I'm trying not to reach my chin forward. So I really try to have to focus on pulling chin back so I'm not pressing into the back of my head with that upper arm. So once we're there, then our other arm, I'm gonna take it out to the side. I'm gonna turn my thumb down and then I'm gonna bring it down and across my back. Goal here, trying to reach our opposite fingers and maybe we can hook our fingers And that is that. Now, most people are going to have one side that is like substantially tighter than the other. Um, so I'll just even show you what happens when I go with my left arm overhead. And that's when I'm going to have this jacket handy in my, on my right side. So when I go with my left hand, I do the same thing. I'm going to lift and then lift that left arm up nice and high. Left palm comes behind my back. But then when I come and I bring my arm out to the side, thumb down and try to go up. I don't really get that close. That's okay. But what I'm going to do then is I'm going to grab this. I'm actually going to place it in my left hand. And then my right hand can come and grab on to that jacket. And then as I progress, I can start to walk hands a little bit closer together. So with or without the jacket, whatever you need, I'd like to say spend about two minutes each side in that pose. You'll start to see pretty quick progress with this. Hands start to get close together. Maybe you'll be able to kind of interlace fingertips eventually. Um, and that's the goal. It's just so that we can have big range of motion in our shoulder. So enjoy, and I will see you guys again real soon.